All right, guys, today's Thursday, the 6th of July. Um, I didn't make videos yesterday. I had uh, family things going on um, I had to take care of. So I broke my fast last night. It ended up being a six day fast. It was almost 150 hours. It was just over six days. But just so we can go over, um, let's see, uh, should I show you guys? Okay, so what I did was I ate, didn't eat, ate, didn't eat, ate, didn't eat, ate, didn't eat, ate, and then I started my six day fast. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six, and I ate last night. So that's just under 150 hours. Um, so a note on what was going on with me um, through my detox, as we've told you before how the cell works, okay, the cell is surrounded, it's it's protected. What ha The cell needs nothing. The cell is self-healing, self-generating, self-automating. It doesn't, a cell does not need anything. The only reason a cell breaks down the protective layer around that cell is introduction, introduction of toxins and poisons, okay? So we've been eating our whole lives and it breaks down our cells. This is why air tags, quotes, nutrition and diets work. Because when that cell breaks down, you lose the things that you, that were in that cell. So, you know, that's why some people can miraculously heal themselves on a carnivore diet. That's why some people can miraculously heal themselves on a fruit diet. That's why some people can miraculously heal themselves on hundreds of different diets. Because what they're doing is replenishing what was torn out of the cell. And it's a circle. So they're still, the cells, they're not helping their cells. They're just feeding their cells. So what was going on with my huge detox was I was not only going through regular detox, but I was also, all my cells were open in my body because they're all damaged. So those toxins, all my cells were susceptible to those toxins. I mean, I was having, you know, I was having severe detox symptoms, um, fatigue, tightness, couldn't move around that, um, the tea, you know, helped, but the symptoms were just, were absolutely horrendous. And what I, what I've come to, to experience is that that is what was going on was my cells. I wasn't hungry at all last night. And the reason I'm even mentioning, I was not hungry. I have no hunger, but I ate last night because something was telling me, you know, that I had something else going on, that this was not about, okay, we're just gonna stop eating, you know, and not eat again. This is about, you know, healing and taking care of ourselves. Um, you know, not trying to kill ourselves. So I ate last night, I ate um, a big mason jar, like I guess it's a quarter gallon, half gallon, mason jar of a um, strawberry, banana and watermelon shake, okay? I drank the whole thing within like probably 15 minutes. Uh, I pissed four times last night, I did not shit. What I could feel happening was all my cells were taking in those vitamins and those whatever else is in those, um, the fiber, or everything else from the fruit. And it helped me majorly, majorly like because what it did was it refed my cells because my cells were probably, you know, dealing with all that fatigue and exhaustion from toxins that have been running through my body for the past, especially doing the urine, you know? So anyways, um, yeah, I ate last night. And then, so I woke up this morning and I realized that, you know, it actually, it fed my cells. So, um, I had another half a shake this morning at 11 AM. Um, and then what I'm probably going to do now, I'm playing it day by day. I have, I'm not pushing anything. I'm playing it day by day. And just cause I've never done this before. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, but what I'm looking to do is go back on my, um, day on day off, you know, until, uh, I feel like I want to go on a day on two days off 
And then, so I'll probably do it like that since I have now shocked my system. I've gotten, I've downloaded, uh, I've excreted so many fucking toxins out of my body. It's unfucking real. So, um, okay. That's where I'm at with the fast. The other thing that I want to touch on. So I woke up this morning. I had a huge family thing going on yesterday. I had, um, I've had younger family member of mine just move in. Um, my daughter's probably moving in in a couple weeks. So what that does as us as men, especially those men who have families, the money thing never goes away. Financial worries never go away. Um, you know, and you find that most of the stress in your life is based around money. And I'm going to go into that again. I mean, we're on a fake money system. I mean, just to, just to know that I've spent so much of my life worrying about a fake currency is, is unreal. I mean, it's, it's disgusting. It's, it's like we are literally living as slaves. There's no point to our lives other than slavery and consumption. Um, so I was supposed to go, I'm hard up for money. I was supposed, I'm behind, I'm getting behind on bills again. Um, I was supposed to go to work this morning. I woke up this morning, my body said, motherfucker, don't get out of bed. Like it does most mornings whenever I got to go to work. But, I, you know, we literally chastise ourselves and push and get out of bed every fucking morning and go to our slave job, you know. Um, and what what we've been doing, what I've been doing with my healing is breaking programming. I'm breaking programming. OK, so when my soul says, hey, motherfucker, you're not going to work today. You're not going to beat yourself up for a little bit of money today. You're not going to fucking do it. And instead of me, my ego going, well, I'm worried about money. I got to pay bills. I got people moving in with me that I need to help. <laughs> instead of doing that, going back to that old way of thinking. I said, no, I'm not going to work today. I'm not. I got to heal. I love myself more. Look, I can lose everything, but it, I mean, if I lose myself, what am I going to fucking do? So, you know, uh, the main thing is my healing and the people who are living with me, I have to be an example for them. I cannot sit here and stress and go to work and kill myself and fucking, you know, just be in utter suffering for a dollar that I tell them is, is slavery. So I have to be the example. I have to go against everything I've ever done, all my programming, and not go to work. Um, and it's hard. It's very hard because right after that, the electric guys came and shut off my electric. And uh, I, anyways, that's a whole situation, but I paid it, um, but it took the rest of my money. Um, but I'm not freaking out. There's no freaking out. I'm completely calm because I know I made the right decision by staying home today and healing because the example is much more than anything else right now. And I'm not gonna lose my house. I'm not gonna lose anything. Everything's gonna work out fine. It's just another fucking test, another programming test to see if I'm still downloaded on these fucking stupid systems. And I'm not, you know, and that's as simple as that. But yeah, guys, I just wanna update you on the fasting. Um, it went great. Uh, did, you know, through that fast, I did urine. I, I drank my own urine for the first time in my life. Uh, my son got on urine two years ago. I never thought I would do it. Um, but now that I understand what it does, you know, being a negatively charged and pulling all that, those toxins, those positively charged toxins out of you. Um, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's healing. It's natural and it's fucking free. That's why they make it seem crazy because it's free, guys. They don't want you having anything that's free. Nothing. So, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, but I'll probably get back into uh, making some videos here shortly. Um, I am hoping to go back to work tomorrow, but again, I don't give a fuck. If I'm not feeling well, if I feel like I need to stay home, if it's fucking pouring outside, I don't give a fuck. I'll stay home. I'm not worrying about money anymore. I'm tired of it. And that was the biggest stressor. So, oh, also uh, one more thing I want to point out on that fast. The other thing I learned is everything, everything, anything superfluous, 
in everything, everybody's drama, any, any kind of, you know, stress you put on yourself is going to make it, it, you, we don't realize how much of an effect it has on our bodies until we quit taking those dopamine hits. Because what happens is we're so used to taking dopamine hits to um, get through the day that we don't realize that we're literally killing ourselves, whether it's through destroying our cells um, or slavery at a job, you know, and breaking our bodies down or, you know, through the cognitive dissonance of the programming and have, trying to re live a correct life. So...